Hello and welcome back. In this chapter, I am going to demonstrate how to create a pod. To create a pod, you need to create a ML file containing pod specification. Let's see the basic structure for creating a ML file for any Kubernetes objects. These are the four required fields should be present in ML file of any Kubernetes object you want to create. Those are API version, kind, metadata, and spec. First one is kube API version. This indicates the release version of Kubernetes object. Second one is kind, which indicates what type of Kubernetes object you want to create. Third one is object metadata. This includes name, annotation, labels, namespace, and other information related to the Kubernetes object. Last one is spec. Spec stands for specification and contains the object specification. In the spec section, you can define your desired state for the Kubernetes object defined in the kind field. The spec includes details of containers, image used to instantiate a container, volumes, on what node Kubernetes objects going to run, restart policy of Kubernetes object, and other information related to Kubernetes object. Now, let's write a simple ML definition file to create a simple Kubernetes pod. In this ML file, API version is set to v1 and kind is pod. That means I am going to create Kubernetes pod. In the metadata, I am mentioning my pod name as my nginx pod. In the spec field, I am mentioning image name as nginx and container named my nginx container will be instantiated from this image. Finally, container port is 80. Pod can have one or more container. So you can specify one or more container by adding dash name and then providing container name. Dash indicates it's a multi-value set. Let's see how to execute this ML file to create my nginx pod. Save and quit the ML file. To create pod from ML file, execute command kubectl create dash f and provide name of the ML file. Pod has been created. To list the pods, use command kubectl get pods. My nginx pod is listed. Let's connect to the pod using exec command. And we have already discussed about this command in Docker course. Let's check the version of nginx by executing command nginx-v. nginx version is 1.19.2. Let's create one more pod ML definition file. This time, I am creating a busybox container and passing sleep argument with value 3600. Let's create a pod using command kubectl create command. My busybox pod has been created. Let's list the pods. Pods are listed. To see the IP address of pod and to know on what node pods are running, use option dash o and then wide. These are the IP address associated with these two pods. And nginx pod is running on node 1 and busybox pod is running on node 2. Let's connect to busybox container and curl nginx IP to see these two pods can communicate to each other or not. We got the response from nginx. This is the nginx welcome page. Now that we have created the pod, let's see how to edit the running pod. Let's make changes to the pod ML definition file. I am going to add label called version and value set to v1. I have made the changes, save and quit the ml file. To make these changes to apply, execute command kubectl apply dash f and then provide ml file name. It says pod configured. That means changes applied successfully to the pod. Let's see another way of editing running pod. To edit the pod, use command kubectl edit mention the Kubernetes object and then provide name of the object. 
Please note that you cannot change every field attributes of a running pod. So let's add one more label to the running pod. These are the runtime values created by the Kubernetes. I am going to add one more label to the pod metadata. Label name is environment and value set to dev. I have added the label. Let's save and quit. It says my Nginx pod is edited. Let's verify the changes we made are applied or not. This command returns the output in ML format. We can see our changes are applied to the running pod. These are all the runtime data created by the Kubernetes. Status is also a runtime data created by Kubernetes and it gives us state of the Kubernetes object at given point of time. Here we can see state of my Nginx pod is running. Status section contains the current state of the Kubernetes object. Basically, you define desired state in spec definition of ML file and Kubernetes creates the status section during runtime. To make sure current state matches to the desired state specified by you in the spec section of ML file. This status section is read only. Remember that spec is something you define in ML file and it's a desired state. Status is created by Kubernetes during runtime and you need not to specify status field while writing ML file. If you want output in JSON format, specify dash O and then JSON. The output will be written in JSON format. To get more information on current status of pod, execute command kubectl describe pod and then provide name of the pod. Here you can see complete information of the pod that includes the label we had created, node on which this pod is running, IP address of the pod, container and image details and many more. And this pod is using default namespace. It's very important to know to what namespace the pod is assigned because you can group the Kubernetes objects by namespace. Please note that these are all not the Linux namespace that we discussed earlier in Docker and Kubernetes. Instead of creating and assigning all your Kubernetes object to the one single namespace, you can assign them to multiple namespaces, which help in logical grouping of Kubernetes object so that we can chop one big system into many components and group them and assign them to separate namespace. This way, you can separate the resources in multiple tenant environment. One more scenario would be when multiple project teams are working in same Kubernetes cluster, then we can give each project team a separate namespace so that one project team resource don't get in the way of other project team resources. Let's list the namespace in our cluster. Here you can see default namespace. Let's see what pods are assigned to default namespace. Dash N stands for namespace. I'm listing all pods assigned to default namespace. Our two pods are listed because while creating them, we didn't specify any namespace to them. So by default, they were assigned to default namespace. This command is same as kubectl get pods because default namespace is default. Now let's see what pods are assigned to cube system namespace. PO is short name for pod. Short names works with kubectl command. We can see Kubernetes components such as code DNS, etcd, cube API server, cube controller manager, cube proxy, cube scheduler are assigned to the cube system namespace. Let's learn how to create a namespace and use it in our pod ML definition file. To create a namespace, execute command kubectl create ns and then provide name of the namespace you want to create. ns stands for namespace. I am creating a namespace by the name my ns. Namespace has been created. Let's list the namespaces. My ns namespace is listed. Let's use this namespace in the ml file. In this example, I am creating a busybox pod for the namespace my ns and I am using busybox image. Let's create pod from this ml file. To create pod, execute command kubectl create dash f and then provide name of the Kubernetes object definition file name. Pod has been created. Let's list the pod. My busybox ns pod is not listed because we are listing pod associated with the default namespace. This command is same as kubectl get pods dash n default. Now 
let's list the pod in my ns namespace you can see our pod listed this time now let's see how to delete a pod to delete a pod execute command kubectl delete pod and the name of the pod before deleting the pod let's list the pod again let's delete my nginx pod my nginx pod has been deleted to double check list the pod one more time pod has been deleted that's all for this chapter in this chapter we have covered how to create edit and delete pod and some of the important kubectl commands and using namespace in pod definition file thank you see you in the next chapter